Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It's so much fun seeing everyone checking in at this Zoom. My name is Kate Jacobs. I am um, one of the owners of Little City Books in Hoboken, New Jersey. I own it with my friend Donna Garbin. We're down on the corner of First Street and Bloomfield. I know uh, many of you have stopped in to see us. Um, this is so cool. We have people from all over Hoboken with us this morning. We have Jersey City, uh, New York City, and also Hong Kong and Korea. So this is a very international and far-flung event that we're having at the bookstore, story time today. Um, Kat Min is with us this morning. She's an author and illustrator of a new book called Shy Willow. And she's going to tell us about the book and read it. And um, Kat is from Hong Kong originally. She in her, spent her childhood making homemade comic books with printer paper and staples with her friend. And um, then she came to New York and she went to New York University and studied animation. And um, she lives in Jersey City. She has twins, twin three-year-olds. And some of her favorite things are McDonald's French fries, escape games, graphic novels, and anything with cheese. So there's a little bit about our author who's joining us today. The publisher of the book, the publisher is the person who takes all the story and the pictures and makes it into a book that we can read. Publisher is Levine Carrido, which is um, a brand new children's book publisher that has moved to Hoboken. Their offices are right down the street from our bookstore. So we're really happy about that and we welcome them to, uh, to Hoboken. So we're gonna get started with the story. Um, I just wanna tell you that there's a Q&A question and answer button at the bottom of your screen. And when Kat is finished with her reading, you can type in questions and she'll be able to answer some of your questions about uh, her story and about making the book. Also in the chat, I'm gonna put the link to purchase the book. We have it at the bookstore and Kat is gonna be able to sign copies, which is very exciting. We're gonna have personally signed, beautiful picture books that you can buy and we, you can either pick them up or we can mail them to you. So that link will be in the chat. Um, and I think that's everything I have to tell you. And I'm gonna just bring on Kat Min, welcome. Hi, thank you, Kate. <laughs> um, this is the book, Shy Willow. I um, started to, I actually started with a drawing instead of the story. Um, and originally it was just uh, a little girl um, in a little like box with a mail slot. Um, and then later on when I developed the story, um, I think it was in 2017, um, it, I changed it to a rabbit and then that's how the story kind of came together. <laughs> um, I actually have the drawing right here. That was the original drawing right there. <laughs> and now it's this. So um, without further ado, I will start the reading. Shy Willow by Kat Min. These are the sketches by Willow. Um, She's afraid of being outside. So this one, she likes to draw flowers. Today's flowers are daffodils. And then a little drawing of a spilt water and some houses that she sees outside her mail slot, the unknown. And sometimes she looks at the clouds and imagines what they're like, a cupcake cloud and cars, they're really loud. So she writes, rain makes a lot of noise and cars do too. And a snake, oh no, saw a snake outside. Let's not leave home for the next few days. Oh, and here, she wants to learn how to make origami. New pencil found under a bench or ice cream. Mushrooms, probably poisonous. 
bread loaf cloud. Self-portrait. Jam. Makes big noises, very fast, must avoid. Tree monsters. Dandelion. She thought it was a fluffy flower. One, two, three, four. Keep away from wind. Shy Willow. There was once a rabbit named Willow who lived in an abandoned mailbox. Willow didn't like being outside very much. She preferred being inside in her home where it was cozy and quiet, just the way she liked it. One day, a blue envelope fluttered into her home. Someone must have thought that the mailbox still delivered letters. Dear Moon, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow, and I was hoping, if you're not too busy, could you shine your biggest and brightest at midnight for her special day? It would make her very happy. Yours truly, Theo, the purple house on Eris Street. Me, here. What a thoughtful birthday gift, said Willow. The letter had to be delivered to the moon. But how? Willow could never do it. Could she? Thump, thump, thump. Willow's heart beat faster. As the sky dimmed, the moon slowly shimmered into view. It was so, so far away and she couldn't stamp her back if she was scared. It made her sad to think about Theo and his mom waiting and staring at a dark, empty sky. If someone had to deliver the letter to the moon by midnight, she knew it had to be her. Outside was big, tall, and scary. Willow's knees trembled as she stared at the moon in the sky. Maybe if she jumped high enough, she could reach the moon. She was a rabbit after all. Jump! But the moon was too far away. Willow wondered if she could climb her way up to the moon. She found the tallest mountain and began to climb it. Every time she slipped, her heart fell into her stomach. When she finally reached the top, the moon was still far away. It was getting darker. Willow longed to run home but she shook the thought away when she remembered the little boy and his letter. As Willow walked past a tall tree, she heard baby birds chirping in their nest above. This gave her an idea. Willow climbed up a tall tree and hid inside a nest. She waited until a large bird flew past. Willow jumped. Willow held on tightly. She could barely keep her eyes open. The bird swayed and a big gust of wind blew towards them, throwing Willow off the bird's back. <gasps> Willow fell down, down, down. Oof. Feeling lost and tired, Willow sat in a small grass area surrounded by trees. It was comfortable and reminded her of home.
Out of all the things she did that night, Willow took the biggest step yet. Rip. <gasps> She's ripping out the pages of her book. Oh dear. Tear, tear. Going up, 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 up into the sky. She's getting closer and closer to the moon. When Willow finally arrived, the moon was sleeping. Willow's heart beat faster than ever. Willow cleared her throat and gently tapped the moon's cheek. Excuse me, ma'am, said Willow. The moon stirred and slowly blinked her eyes open. She yawned and turned her gaze to Willow. Hello, I I'm Willow, and this is for you. She pulled out the letter from her backpack. A letter? For me? How lovely, said the moon. In a quivering voice, Willow read the letter to the moon. How brave of you to come all the way here to deliver this letter to me, said the moon. Midnight, is it? Well then, you don't have much time. Come along, Willow, this should be fun. They glided through the sky and stopped just above Theo's house. The moon set Willow down. Willow gasped. <gasps> Theo and his mom saw the moon. The stars glittered in their eyes. The warmth of the moonlight spread through Willow's chest and it remained there forever. The end. These are Willow's sketchbooks. Switch pages. And now it's all in color. New favorite coffee with cookies, chocolate chip, pumpkin carving. Theo taught me how to make origami, a boat, a crane. Shoes with pointy ends, stay away. Today's flower, sunflower. Need a new pencil. Stars. Theo. To read, short stories told in origami. Another letter. The end. <laughs> that was Shy Willow. Um, and now uh, I'm here for Q and A questions. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. So, there's a Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. If you see it, you can put in a question and um, Kat can tell us. I see it too. <laughs> oh, uh, I, have a, I see a question from Sarah. Um, did Willow and Theo become good friends afterwards? Yes, they did. Um, uh, still, Willow's still shy, um, but uh, they, you know, they sit together reading books, uh, sometimes drawing stuff together. <laughs> so, yes, they were friends afterwards. <laughs> uh, what inspired you to become an author? Um, you know, uh, I've always liked, uh, enjoyed, um, you know, not exactly to be an author, but to tell stories. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a cartoonist and an 
Um, and then in college, I studied animation um, and anything that has to do with, you know, creating a story and telling it through visuals, um, I enjoyed. Um, and then at one point I wanted to, um, I got into picture books. I read a lot of picture books um, and I thought it was such a great way to tell a story um, visually and through words as well. So um, I decided to write and illustrate this story, Shy Willow, um, and I'm very lucky that it's out now. <laughs> Here's a question. What do you think Willow is most afraid of and did it change after her adventure? Uh, what was she most afraid of? Um, I think just leaving her little mailbox, I think was the biggest fear that she was the most scared of that. Um, but so and when you see in the beginning, um, in the end pages, front end pages, uh, you see that she drew a tree, like a tree monster here, tree monsters. And then in the end, it's just, you know, a regular tree. So she kind of got over that fear um, of seeing things as being scary outside. Um, so that changed. <laughs> Here's a question from Addie. She wants to know how you drew all the pictures, which she says are so beautiful. Thank you. Um, you know, I actually have um, a few drawings here. Um, for example, uh, I drew like this page I did on watercolor paper. Um, first I would sketch it out and then, uh, and then I would, paint with watercolor paint and then all the little um, outlines and uh, little textures I would go over with color pencils. Um, and then anything I wanted to revise, anything I want to change a little bit or add more to, I would scan them into the computer and touch it up in either Photoshop or uh, Procreate in, on my iPad. Um, so, <laughs> yes. Nadia is asking, did Theo know that Willow made the wish come true? I'm sorry, could you repeat that question again? Did Theo know that it was Willow who made his wish come true? Yes, yes. Um, so uh, in the end, let me just show that page again. Um, when Theo and his mom sees the moon, they notice, he notices um, Willow right here. He notices her and he waves at her, right? And Willow waves back. And that shows that, you know, he knew <laughs> that it was Willow. <laughs> what are you showing by making the end papers black and white in the front and then in the back they're in color? Um, so it was kind of like um, for Willow, uh, the world was kind of just kind of black and white for her um, because, you know, she's always just trying to be, you know, trying to be by herself and everything's scary outside and she's just always just in her little space. So for her, it was just very just black and white. And then in the end, when she becomes friends with Theo and she learns, um, you know, how to kind of be brave and sort of realizing something new about herself, um, her real world turns into color, you know, <laughs> uh, it's become more colorful for her um, and she's experienced something new, a new friendship. So that's what I wanted to convey. And here's a question from Susan asking about your training. How did you learn to become such a talented artist? Thank you. Um, I, you know, I, when I was younger, I always liked to draw. I used to um, just copy uh, my favorite um, cartoon characters. Um, and actually my friend, Sarah is here. Um, if you see in the chats or in one of the Q and A's, uh, she's the friend that I would make comic books with out of printer paper and staples. Um, we would always just, um, whenever I went over her house or she came over to my house, we would just sit down and get paper from the fax machine or the printer and then just cut it, <laughs> you know, cut it up with scissors and staple it, staple the side and then just start drawing. And we would just sit there for like an hour or two hours in silence drawing. <laughs> um, 
and I think, yeah, just constantly drawing, um, constantly drawing, drawing since I was young. And then, um, and then in high school, uh, my mom, she was like, since you like drawing, you know, I'll send you to like a sort of like an art, like a after school art school. Um, and I, I really, really thank my mom for that because um, at first, my first um, kind of lesson at that art school was to do a still life pencil drawing of a roll of tissue, like a, a tissue roll. And I was like, this is boring, <laughs> you know? Why am I, why are you asking me to draw, you know, like this boring roll of, like a tissue roll, you know? Um, but yeah, I think it's so important to get that sort of training, I think, um, so that your drawing skills, you know, um, get better. Um, you have to learn how to draw from real life, uh, I think, to really, you know, improve. <laughs> um, so I really thank my mom for that. And then uh, just constantly drawing, practicing, 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 um, and, you know, just looking up different art from artists that you like. Um, and, uh, and then in college, I studied animation. So that's when I, that's where I got a lot of like the storytelling training, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I think, I think that's really, that's the, the biggest um, training I think is just practicing. You need to keep, just keep drawing. <laughs> so that's, that's what I did. <laughs> We see that you're in your studio there in, in your home studio in Jersey City, is it? Um, actually, I, I used to live there, but now I'm in Fort Lee, so. Oh, okay, well, it's Jersey <laughs> still. Um, can you tell us about the materials, the art materials that you use to make the book? Yeah, sure. Um, so I used uh, watercolor um, and color pencils. Uh, and then um, to finalize it, I, went into Photoshop and Procreate to finish it up. <laughs> All right. And people want to know if there's going to be another story about Willow. We have some questions. Uh, possibly. <laughs> I would probably, um, you know, I'm sure there are uh, more stories that could come out of Willow. Um, so I would have to ask Willow about that. <laughs> and do you have another book, uh, another idea that you're working on now? That yes. was finished? Actually, yes. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's very in the very beginning stages, so I can't really say anything. But um, I'm excited to uh, get that done as well and share it with you all. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kat. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Thank for you. joining us today. We'll come back. Thank you for having me and thank you everyone for being here. Um, it's really great. <laughs> I'll remind here. you that um, I'm going to put the link for the book in for the book at the bookstore in the chat and that you can get it there from us. We can mail it to you or you can pick it up and Kat is going to be able to sign our books, which is so exciting. <laughs> thank you for joining us from all over the world today, this morning here in Hoboken at Little City Books. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye everyone. Thank you.